After you've copied all of your still JPG, JPEG image files off of your DVP camcorder and saved them to your folder on the Cougar's Den, it's time to use Jellycam to stitch them all together. So find the icon for Jellycam on your desktop and open up the program. In Jellycam, it's pretty simple. You're going to tell it that you want to open up picture files that you've saved to your computer. When you click on picture files, you now have the option to go out and browse for your still images that you copied off the DVP cameras. So click browse, and then you're going to go to the Cougar's Den, Carpiac DVP folder, find your quarter, find your class, and find the stop motion folder, and you should have already created a folder in here with your name on it, with you and your partner on it, and then you've already copied all of your um, pictures off the DVP camera and pasted them into that folder so that when you go in your folder you see all of your images. For this example I've only got six images. For your example you're gonna have you know a couple of hundred of images. Um, so go into your folder on the Cougar's Den where you've copied over all of your images. Notice how they are .jpg. They're JPEG files. They're still images. They're not video clips. So here are all my images in order. Um, I can click and drag and draw a box around all of them to select all of them, or I can hit Control A on my keyboard to select all of them, and then click Open. And it's going to pull all of my images in down here. This is technically the timeline for, um, for Jellycam. Now, for me, it opened really quickly because I only have six pictures. If you have several hundred, expect it to take a little while, you know, a minute or two or three for it to finally load everything. So um, just be careful there. So there's not a lot of editing to do here. If you click play, whew, that's an amazing stop motion. You can check out how it works. The frames per second starts out at five. If you want to make it go slower, take it down to like two. And if you want it to go faster, you can take it up. But five is the default. So some of the options that you have, um, as long as you took your photos in order, they will have names in order numerically, and they'll go in the correct order. If for some reason you would like to reverse the order of your stop motion, you can then select all and then click reverse. And now if you watch it, it fills up instead of empty. Um, you can then select all and reverse it again if you want. And so now it empties. So you have the option to reverse it. If you need to, if you take something out of order, you can pick up a click and you can pick it up and drag and drop it and move it around to put it in the correct order. You can also, if you need for an image to um, stay still for a little while and, and last longer on the screen, for example, if you put some text on the screen with like a, a speech bubble or something that you cut out and you want that to last longer on the screen, you'll select the clip that you want to make last longer and then you'll click the duplicate button. Duplicate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's just an example. So now when I watch my video, notice how that one frame is going to actually, it's going to seem like it's stuck and it's going to pause on that frame for a little longer before it goes to the end. So it's pausing right now. You can tell that here and then it finishes. One more time. It's pausing right here and then it finishes. So if you ever need to extend one frame to last a little bit longer than the others, you can just select it and then click the duplicate button to do that. If you need to select any clips and delete them, you can. Um, that's really all there is to the editing process. So then at this point, if you're not done and you want to keep adding on to it, you can save this as a project and it'll save it as a, a Jellycam project file to your computer, but when you're totally done with your stop motion and you're happy with it and you're ready to turn it into a final video, it's kind of like exporting in Pinnacle, you'll come over and you'll say create video. And then you have to give it a name, so I might call this water bottle. And then I have to click the browse button to make sure that it's going to go into the right folder. So click browse and then make sure that it is in the Carpiac DVP folder of the Cougar's Den, your class, your folder, your name, and then this is the folder then that I'm going to select. So if you have to, you might have to go down here and click on Cougar's Den, but it looks like it automatically selected the same folder. So I'll say select, yep, Carpiac DVP, um, Q2 projects, you know, DVP8, stop motion, okay. And then I click the create vid button. For me, there were only 16 clips, so it went really quick. For you, if you've got several hundred clips, it might take a little bit longer, but then it's finished. So if I go down and I check out my folder, and I go to the Cougar's Den, OK, 
Carpiac TDP, your quarter, your class, the project, your folder. You should now see all of your images, and now you'll see this new file, waterbottle.flv. And that's the file that I will be looking for to share on the big screen with the rest of the class. So that's really all there is to Jellycam.